Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out the walkthrough part two for level three, The Outskirts in The Last of Us, where we find nine artifacts, four firefly pendants, two shiv doors, and two optional conversations. So here we are, right where we left off last time, watching this wonderful ladder sh extravaganza, where the AI can't seem to figure out what's going on here, but we will disregard that and keep on keeping on. And if you're unfamiliar with the series, if this is the first video you've seen in our series, you will find that up in the left-hand corner you will not only find the level that this takes place on, but also the checkpoint that you can load into from your main menu. And on top of that, down in the bottom left-hand corner, when we get close to an artifact or a collectible of some sort, we will show you in detail what it is and any reference name to it, key details of where it is, anything like that. So got that going for you which is nice and if you're here simply for the collectibles down in the timeline we have a fast forward quick links so that you can travel to the item you need and although the game does not track the items like the game has them numbered meaning that number one isn't always number one on your list um, it makes it a little difficult but we're here. If you have a question of what, uh, if you're missing one, you know which one it is or what level it is, we're here to help. So feel free to ask us, watch the video, go through the list on your own, whichever you may feel is the best. All right, you can see here, uh, I've got a little behind here. We we're kind of sneaking into this little cafe area here or whatever it is, library, bookstore or something. Uh, music store, I think is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Whatever. Once we get in here, though, we will uh, go ahead and take the three baddies out stealthily and then we can move this cart around in the room but before you do that you're gonna wanna make sure you pilfer any of the goodies laying around we are in excess of the stuff so we're gonna go ahead and make a shiv real quick so we have room for it in our backpack and now that we got that all taken care of everything in here is cleared out we'll go ahead and move on we gotta take this outside and actually use it to climb up on a truck I'm like trying to plow through this door here thinking that's where we're going, but eh, nope, we gotta go out front door. Not not the little door, the front door. Alright, we'll get it figured out one of these days here. And if the AI will get out of our way, then we can push it around. Uh, obviously, uh, you don't want to go up the big curb there, as I was trying to do. Wasn't exactly sure where we were taking this. Gonna try to take it for a spin though. And once we get all the way up top. We'll have access to jump over. And that's when we come to our first collectible for this part of the video. And inside the trailer, there is some goodies. And I wasn't sure which side or how you got in there. So we dropped down on the front side just making sure there's no way in. But it's actually on the other side. Right. As soon as you get down, turn around and you'll see a door. You can get inside there and find artifact number 15, the medical pamphlet. There's also a stick in there, so you can go beat some fools with a switch. You know what I'm saying? All right, so as you can see here, we're moving right along, moving right along. We've got quite a, quite a long video here, so if, like I said, if you're here for the collectibles, feel free to use the quick links. It won't hurt my feelings at all. If you like hearing my voice or you want to just play the level with me, feel free to do so. We do have this sped up ever so slightly, uh, which is why their voices might sound a little bit chipmunked. Um, and why our character might be moving a little faster than yours, but nonetheless, we're not too much faster, so it shouldn't be too hard. And look at that. Nice. Just barely made it in. Whew. You think that's going to hold? Oh, snap. Someone's got to hold on you. That's pretty cool. Not a lot of moments like that in video games, and I gotta give it props. There's definitely some great story cinematic moments. Um, there's a workbench. Feel free to upgrade your parts and such. We'll go ahead and do that just now. This is one of the first workbenches that we've come across. We, uh, I'm not a big uh, guy on buying and building things. Like I know a lot of people are into that, and even in like Dead Island and and games that you can create weapons, and and even this one because you can add stuff to your baseball bat and whatever. I don't, I'm just not really into it. I make it when I have to. You know, I, I'm more into playing the game, not into making fictional items. 
I don't know, that's just me. Kind of like dressing my character. Like, I really don't care what my dude looks like. I mean, you can put him in a pink tutu and and put his butt on his face and put vaginas for ears, and, and I wouldn't care. As long as I could hear and, and see and move around, I'm usually pretty good. So, yeah, vagina ears would be an awkward situation, indeed. All right, so... We are just going to basically ransack everything we can everywhere we go. Uh, it's kind of reminiscent of the old stud whoring in the Lego games. Just grabbing and pilfering everything we can. Because we will need it at some point. All right, so we're getting ready to head up some stairs here. This is kind of a tricky scenario. The floor has collapsed on the, f on the, the level above us. And you can see right there is how we get up there. We're not quite ready to go up there yet. We do want to turn around and go in this door right here and see what you got to offer, which is basically a back door into the other way that we just came from. So uh, nothing too important in here other than some crafting items. And depending on the level of difficulty you're playing, um, we're playing on hard. So if you're playing on an easier difficulty, you might find some more stuff. Now, before advancing up the broken down flooring, uh, make sure you go under it and grab the crafting items there. And before advancing past the hole, slide over onto this side over here and shimmy your way all the way along the edge. And at the very end, you'll find a broken case with a firefly pendant in it. Now, I've seen that icon with the shaking of the controller a few times. I really don't know what the hell that has anything to do with. Um, I, it's almost like a balance feature, but it's happened to me when I'm not balancing, too. So, I don't know. If you guys got any info, feel free to put it down in the comments. I'm sure I'll figure it out at some point in the near future, but um, yeah, it's just kind of a weird deal. Like, it's almost like when you're walking across the plank, like you should have to like balance out or something. But yet, I don't know. It's happening more than just that spot. So, anyways, uh, crafting items available in some of these cabinets, and we are gonna come up on some baddies here in a minute. And it's not the best battle of all time. I'll tell you that. In fact, uh, there's a spot coming up that I died a timer five. And uh, hopefully you guys won't have to witness any of that. Thanks to the glories of editing, we'll probably sneak right by all that stuff. All right, so again, I'm just going to remind you one last time, if you've already made it through here and you don't want to listen to my voice, uh, you can either mute me and keep watching, or you can use the fast-forward quick links down in the time description. Or down in the time description. Down in the description regarding the time. How about that? I'll say it right. All right, so in this particular part, you get asked out. You uh, be a nice chival homie here, and uh, you uh, don't get the benefits that normally one would for being a nice guy. So we'll sneak around this side over here, and we're going to create a shiv right quick because we've got some clickers. These guys are crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. All right. Clicker down. And we got some more action going on up here, so we're going to go ahead and take these guys out. Same type of deal. We're going to shiv him right in the back. At least that's my plan. We'll see how well it goes over. Kind of a little hangout room in here. We will uh, use a shiv on a door here as well. I don't know if this is like an eatery, a kitchen, food court. So you can see I labeled it a food court. But might not necessarily be the best description. It's on the second floor, right after you, you know, help Ellie and Tess, and then that you get stuck. You know, here's another complaint. I I'm not trying to complain. Why can you open doors but not close them? You know, in a lot of uh, survival horror games, you know, Resident Evil, The Walking Dead, you know, a lot of these games have the ability to open and close doors. So therefore, if you're being chased. You can actually, you know, close the door, get in a room, reload your weapon, change your weapon, get prepared. Um, you know, and I understand that it actually creates a lot more urgency for the player by not allowing that. But, you know, a little bit of safety would be nice, you know. You old naughty dog. You naughty boys. Taking all these awesome features away from us. No. I'm trying not to be a hater. This is a pretty sweet game. All right, we're going to go ahead and craft a shiv. If you don't have one, we're going to go ahead and stick it to the man over here. And we're going to kind of wait for that opportune time to sneak our way over. 
Alright, there's plenty of items around on the ground if you want to toss them and distract your baddies. And uh, I suppose it probably is possible that you can get all the way out of here. As you can see, though, I almost got caught in a jam there. I definitely like how uh, when you're using your focus mode that it kind of gives you almost like a hit marker indicator like you would in a traditional shooter. Like when you're getting shot from the left, it'll show you from the left. When you're in focus, it shows you where the bad guys are by having a little icon if you can't see them. So that's that's pretty cool. Me like that. All right, so we're just trying to find our way around here. We're not sure if we should kill these guys or if we should make our way out of here. We are literally just looking for the way out. And somehow we got lost. Doesn't happen often, but it does happen. So here we are, right in the beginning. All right, making our way back through. Food court's going to be on the left. Dude's going to be on our right and right in front of us. So we're going to sneak off onto the side again. Fortunately, we can't do a whole lot from in here. Probably should have edited that out, but once we come out, we'll go to the left, and we'll sneak up behind this guy, take him out, and the doorway we want is actually right there on the left. So we will go ahead and make our way through this door quietly, and, of course, not closing it behind us. And you can see when we're using focus, that dude is right behind us. It's like, come on, close the damn doors. You born in a barn, Joel? Before advancing anywhere, make sure you go up the stairs. And once you get up here, you might find yourself with a couple more uh, baddies. This is how ha happens to be a runner, so this does not require a shiv to sneak up behind him and take him down quietly. And once he is out for the count, make sure that you kick open the door with fierceness and go in and save your girls because they are getting attacked. But Tess shows that she can hold her own, at least for now. Run! You gotta help. You gotta help, Ellie. Yeah, no sense in shooting. Might as well just go beat him. Beat him to a bloody pulp. Pow, pow. Cha, 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 cha. Ooh. My favorite uh, animation, the kill animation, is when you grab a guy, knock him up against the wall, and then you knee his head off. You know, my wife brought up a pretty good point. Like, wouldn't the bones, like, hurt your knee? Which is probably pretty true, but... Regardless, that is my favorite cinematic scene so far. Like, there's some cool ones you smash in faces and you knee them and all sorts of stuff. But, like, that one's pretty cool right there. Head gone. But my favorite is still the knee to the face. So as this uh, battle here is winding down on the second floor of the museum, you're going to uh, realize that both your girls run over to this window and kind of hold up. If you're smart and you look, there is the little optional conversation icon that pops up. And you can actually get not one, but two right here. So we talk to Tess first, and then we walk on over and talk to Ellie as soon as she tells us how she is. And those will count for two of your optional conversations. So that's nice. You might look around, see if there's anything there. Uh, lower difficulty levels might yield some more uh, parts laying around. But uh, in the harder difficulty, there is no more crafting items or anything that would uh, be awesome for you. So... We'll go ahead and hop out the window and start our ascent to the top and uh, make our way all the way to the rooftops. And once we get up here, we get a little story and we get to move some planks around and uh, yeah, yeah, we play pirates. I'm going to make her walk the plank. Uh, actually, we're just going to make a bridge because we smart. We're an engineer. We can make a bridge. Pretty easy. Uh, a lot, as in like the Uncharted series, a lot of the... Uh, Iconic moments of climbing and uh, stuff like that are marked in yellow. So you can see the yellow rail there allows us to uh, be hinted at the fact that we are going to walk the plank. What up, Cyan? So is that everything you hope for? Jury's still out. Man. Beautiful. Take another view. Beautiful. Come on, this way. Hey, pick it up. Wah, wah. Good old naggy Tess. We're almost done. Stay focused. Yes, ma'am. What ifs? All right. If you noticed up in the top left corner, we've actually switched from the museum to the Capitol building. So that cutscene is kind of an indicator for your checkpoints. Once you get down uh, on the ground, or I guess it's not really quite the ground, it's still rooftops, but once you have control of Joel. We can go ahead and make our way down the stairs, and we're going to be heading up towards artifact number 16, the Firefly Orders. 
So once you get all the way to the bottom of the stairs, hang a right and double back right to the corner where you see a Firefly yeah. member who is uh, not looking so hot. He's seen better days. Looks like he just got done at Abercrombie and Fitch. But uh, regardless, he leaves the orders behind, and we'll go ahead and add that to our backpack. Now over here, you can see the yellow on the dumpster, it's symbolizing that we can use that and push it around. So once it's over there, we'll see the two chicas follow us up and over. And then we're going to drop down in this other side. We're going to drop on the other side. All right, and of course I gotta peek around see if there's anything around. Nope, nada. All right, this is getting gross up here. Green water. I would not trust this water at all. If I were Joel, I would for sure be jumping from car to car as much as possible. But since it's a video game, we're gonna walk right through it. Definitely suspect, and this would have been a cool little area to throw some sort of like side creature in, you know, to like kind of chase you. Maybe not hurt you much, but just piss you off. Now this one gets tricky. She actually says it's deep on the left, so stay on the right. But if we actually take a detour at that taxi cab and go over to this little gazebo here, we can uh, walk around and underwater over by the pink petals, right there, you can see the pendant. Now it's kind of hard to see and it's easily missed. I mean, you, there's no indication of it being there until you're literally standing on top of it. So make sure you get over there and grab that. That would be number six. And uh, we can go ahead and move on to the next item on the list. Well, to be honest, it's actually a couple minutes away from us. So, again, if you're here for just the collectibles, use the fast-forward links. Otherwise, shh. What happens now? Down in front. What are you doing, Tess? Maybe they, uh, maybe they had a map or uh, something to tell us where they were going. How far are we going to take as this? As far as it needs to go. Where was this lab of theirs? Um, she never said. She only mentioned that it was someplace out west. What are we doing here? This is See, down in front. Us. What do you know about us? Told you. It's not me. I know that you are smarter than this. Really? Guess what? We're shitty people, Joel. It's been that way for a long time. No, we are survivors. This is our chance. It is over, Tess. Now we tried. Let's just go home. I'm not. I'm you not almost think these two were married, huh? This is my last stop. What? Our luck had to run out sooner or later. No, don't! Don't touch me. Holy shit. She was infected. Dum dum dum. Let me see. What do you mean? Show it to me. Oh Christ. That sucks. Oops, right? So she lied to us when we asked her in that optional conversation. She optionally lied to us. This was three weeks. Yep, and your math's good. Three weeks. A little bit. Yep. You've got to get this girl to Tommy's. They used to run with this crew who don't know where to go. No, 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 that was your crusade. I am not doing that. Yes, you are. Look. There's enough here that you have to feel some sort of obligation to me, so you get her to Tommy's. Ruh row. Days on to us. I can buy you some time, but you have to work. Do you want us to just leave you here? Yes. There is no way that I will not turn into one of those things. Give her a wet one and let's roll, dude. Oh, no, just go. All right, no wet one, let's roll. Let's fucking go. Hurry. Sorry, I, I didn't mean for this. Get a move on. It's almost like she's disappointed that we actually did what she wanted, right? It's like she's like, damn it, they really did leave me. That's not what I wanted. All right. Now that we got control, Fuck. we are safe that? because we're on the other side of this door, this <laughs> which is a little weird. Um, first door in this game that the enemies have not been able to get through. All right. So a couple crafting items on the table over here. Make sure that if you are full that you craft some, uh, you know, some supplies with the items you have so you can replenish that. As you can see, I just uh, made myself a Molotov. And we'll go ahead and climb up the stairs. It doesn't really matter which side you go to because they both kind of lead to the same spot. And long hallways. All right, now we're back in the room, but above the room that we were just in when Tess was trying to protect us. That didn't last long. 
Sorry, Tess. Shouldn't have been so bitchy all the time. Maybe we would have been able to help you a little better. Try to be here soon. Great character, though, so far. So, yeah. All right. Before you leave the room through the giant hole in the wall, make sure you tap the podium for a few collectibles. And be sure not to jump out onto the ground there. Jump into this building to the right. Otherwise, that last step, it's a doozy. All right, so there's a terrible edit coming up here in a second. I'll just make note of that now. But uh, I had a few issues with this segment here. Again, I'm playing on hard, and I'm a noob. What's up, Howley? That's uh, DJ Howley there. That's the uh, one of the owners of UrgentFury.com. If you're a gamer and you like to compete, make sure you check out Urgent Fury for the current tournaments and uh, events going on. They got one coming up in Chicago. There's the terrible edit, if you can see that there. Usually I'd spend more time trying to fix that, but to be honest with you, these videos are so stinking long. One little mistake like that's probably not going to bother you too much if you even cool. see it. Most of you probably skipped over this whole part anyways by going to the uh, collectibles. All right, so this is just kind of, uh, you know, make your way around as quietly and as quickly as possible, taking out guys. Um, silently is preferred. Obviously, if you make some noise, they will come and rush up on you and... You don't really want to deal with like five or six dudes at once. Not unless you're making a porno. All right, so sneak attack, man down. And we can see we got one more dude down low there. He's glowing. Uh, we'll blow his face off. All right, that triggers the other guy over there in the corner. We are not so good with these shooting mechanics. We want to say that it's the game, but it's probably the user. You know how we are. We always like to blame other people for our faults. <laughs> Actually, we're pretty good about taking the blame for other people's faults. So, meh. All right, grab the supplements on the desk before making your way through the offices. And we just backdoored right back to where we came from. So now that the area is clear, we can go ahead and advance by that dude we shot in the face here a minute ago. And we're getting pretty close to not only the next collectible, but to the end of the level. So that's nice. Make sure if you uh, are in need of a melee weapon, you pick up that board back there. Or if you're just bored, you can grab it. <laughs> All right. Enough wordplay. This room is empty for the time being, but as soon as you get into it, you actually notice some uh, dudes coming from the right. Here is another moment that I uh, died at least once along this journey here. And uh, the information that we originally were given says to go down the right-hand side and sneak through that right door. But we don't like doing that. We like causing a ruckus. So, get ready to cause some shenanigans. No, I'm just kidding. The uh, Realistically, the more noise you make, the harder this part is. The quieter and more stealth you are, as in most of these areas, the better. Um, what's up, Ditch? Ditch was just at E3 a few days ago, repping a Bring Us a SOCOM 2 HD t-shirt. That's pretty uh, monumental, to say the least. And uh, props to him for trying to keep that dream alive. Here we are uh, advancing in here, and uh, like I said, the quieter you are, the better luck you will probably have. However, it does start to get a little squirrely in here, so... Maybe use some of your throwables to toss some stuff. As you can see, we're getting bum rushed from behind, so we got to move quick. We cut across, and we get lucky we don't get seen. If I remember right, though, I'm pretty sure Ellie gets seen here in a second. As we are hiding here, I can't remember. Regardless, we're going to make our way into this other room and wait for this unsuspecting guard to come. And when he gets a little closer, we jump him! Night-night juice! All right. Let's see, there's some goodies on the table behind us there. We do not have any room for that, so we're going to keep on keeping on. We got two guys waiting for us in this other room, uh, plus a third guy over on the left-hand side. So we're just going to wait for this to happen. As soon as they walk by, we're actually going to blow right past them and pretend like we didn't even go through there. So, well. All right, backdoor bandits we are. Out the back, and here we go. As mentioned a couple minutes ago, we are getting close to not only the end of the video, but the next collectible. We're probably about a minute away from the next one. And boy, Ditch is sure having some issues going on and offline there, huh? 
Uh, you know what he's doing? He's probably installing this game. He just got home from from E3, as mentioned, and he's probably doing some updates, and he's probably cycling through his offline status. All right, so as soon as you fall into this, they, they rush a Humvee and start blasting at you. Run like hell and get out of there. Hop the turnstiles and then make your way to the very end. Flashlight would help, but you never know what you're going to find with the light, so me noticing some yellow highlighted stuff. I figured that that was going to be a key of climbing up something, but it wasn't. And here we got a couple guys. We got our masks on now. Well, mask on. She doesn't need one, obviously. If you haven't figured it out by now, she is the cure, and that's what we're doing. We're trying to deliver her to some people that can help uh, remove this epidemic. All right, two guys. Pretty simple. One guy's walking far. One guy's walking near. Once the guy gets close, jump his ass. Choke him out and make him go to sleep. Then we'll move on to the next guy. Then, as soon as we get done with him, surprise! Look at that. I don't know how he got the jump on me there. Like, he was looking right, and I swooped left, and he still got me. So I swing at his dead body. It's a, you know, multiplayer habit there. Once you're dead, I like, you know, do my little dance. All right, so we're getting real close here. You're going to find yourselves making your way through some train cars. And you get to a spot where it starts to get a little wet and moist. And, of course, the young lady does not like that. She's not used to those kinds of situations. So you have to pull out your awesome swimming skills. And we'll swim all the way to the bottom here. Sorry, I got distracted. And... To be honest with you, I thought I was going to sneeze. My allergies are kicking up right at the end of this video, which isn't convenient. All right, once you get to a spot and you climb up and you see Ellie over on the left, you give a shout-out to Gunslinger. What up, Gunslinger? And then after that, you go ahead and walk to the far right side of the cart, jump into the water. Again, these waters are suspect. I would not trust anything in them, even though there's nothing in them. Um, definitely makes it a little scary. And over on the ground, you'll see uh, an artifact sitting next to a dead body, which happens to be a smuggler's note. We'll take a quick peek at that. Not that we condone in smuggling. Not unless it's being smuggled for us. You know what I'm saying? If you're smuggling for somebody else, we're not okay with it. Only when it's in regards to us. All right, so this is tricky. Easily missed here, too. Uh, if you go right past that dead body and jump into the water, you'll hear Ellie freak out and say, You're not going to leave me, are you? But if you dive down, you will find an office that is submerged in water. It's kind of like the uh, the old city of Atlantis. And when you swim around in here, you'll find some items on the shelves, but you will also find a pendant. Now be careful because you can drown, and I get pretty close to drowning here in a second. Hopefully you seeing where the pendant is will help you get in and out a little faster. But you can see it's telling me, better hurry. But I make it back to the top to get some air, and then I'll duck down one more time to return over to the side where Ellie is. And to be honest with you guys, that's actually it for the collectibles. So if you want to hang out with us just to finish this level, you're obviously more than welcome to. And the way you do that is you swim over to the other side, and you'll notice a ladder. But you can't get to the ladder yet, so you got to swim downstream a little bit and find a pallet. You'll bring this pallet back over to Ellie, and you will swing her around. I, had, I seemed like I had a few shots before I was controlling this pallet, which I probably did. Um... And we'll go ahead and try to get her across. And then, basically, you figured it out, I'm sure. She will take... Look at that. You almost dump her in. If you move too fast, you could probably dump her. And she definitely doesn't like wetness. So, she's like a kitty cat. Don't get her wet. And uh, she'll kick that ladder in, and we'll climb up and get out of there. And then we'll start making our way out of this joint. All right, take your time. It's not cold or scary in this water here, Ellie. It's only a ladder. Thing weighs a whole three pounds, I'm sure. All right, so over on the far left-hand side, there is nothing. So don't waste your time. Just keep on going where you're supposed to. Yeah, that's not sketch. Dude with spores growing out of him that look like spears or something. All right, just make your way out. You see daylight, and that is, of course, a great sign. And we'll get to a little cutscene here. Hey, look, um, fuck Tess. I don't even know. Here's how this thing's gonna play out. You don't bring up Tess, ever. 
How about we just keep our histories to ourselves? Secondly, notice we're not wet. About your condition. It's a little weird. It's crazy. They try to kill you. A little detail that was missed, eh? What I say, when I say it. We clear? Sure. Repeat it. What you say goes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and there's a town a few miles north of here. There's a fella there that owes me some favors. Yep. Let's go see what Bill can round up for us. Okay. Just gotta move on. Right, Rumpo? <laughs> Rumpo's part of Fireteam Hooligans. But... That'll wrap up The Last of Us Level 3 Outskirts Walkthrough Part 2, uh, where we actually concluded and found all of the artifacts, shiv doors, and optional conversations, and even a pendant or two along the way. So hopefully you found those helpful, and if you did, head on over to Facebook and Twitter, or even comment and subscribe to let us know, uh, and you know... We will do what we can to keep this show rolling. If you have any suggestions for us or any comments other than that, feel free to tell us as well. Uh, your feedback is very important to us, and uh, we feel that we grow from that. So head on over, tell us your thoughts, and you know the drill. Until next time, bow, bow, chick, chick, sick, sick.